Well, dear viewers, it's Kat. I'm back from my great adventure, and uh, I'm in my studio. So welcome to my studio, and welcome to my new vlog. And I'm hoping that you'll subscribe by clicking the button up here. And I'm thanking you in advance for your kind comments below. And our plan is to uh, film once a, once a week, and we'll be basically filming my crazy art life. And um, <laughs> some educational videos, uh, I'll be doing mono printing in the studio and some techniques in the studio, but also um, our great adventures. We'll be taking you on our trips. We're gonna go on another trip in January and we'll take you with us. So today though, I wanted to talk to you about my art journal, my uh, travel journal. And um, I can't believe we didn't shoot any video of my travel journal uh, while we were gone. But we were just so busy, we crammed a lot into three weeks. Um, so uh, if you've been reading my blog, you know that uh, my travel journal is in a sketchbook. And when I showed pictures on my blog, it was all blank pages. And now I have it quite filled in. And I'm going to share that with you today. And I'm going to share a couple techniques with you um, about this journal. But I wanted to show you my journal from last year, which is a an little antique journal. And uh, there are pictures on my Pinterest page, so if you want to go to Pinterest and see them, they're on there. This is a handmade journal. It's hand-stitched, and it started out as an antique photo album. And the pages look like this. Um, and you can buy them pretty inexpensively when they're in this kind of condition, and they make great travel journals. Um, I just love this journal, but I didn't have time to create this. It takes a while to transform the pages into something that's more archival. So I didn't have time to do that this time. So I went to the craft store and I bought a sketchbook. And for those of you um, who want to do this, uh, just simply uh, used travel or uh, co colored, not colored pencils, but watercolor pencils and travel brushes and a pencil, a pen, a, a straight edge, and a glue stick, and that's basically it. So I'm going to show you some of the techniques. One of the things that I did in this journal, and I do every time I create a travel journal, is I leave pages open so that I can print my own photos. And I'm going to be putting that in here today and just embellishing it, so I'll show you that. We'll speed the video up so you can see it. Then the other thing is, since I used a glue stick on my trip, uh, and you can see things are just going to lift up, so I'm going to be covering those with uh, gel medium so that they stay in the book because I want it to last for a long time. So I've left photos in different spots, and I'll be showing this on my blog, katerinagilio.blogspot.com, and you'll be able to see all of the pictures. They'll go on my Pinterest board as well, um, so you'll be able to see it in detail. So we're going to shoot some of that video so you can I'd see like it. I'd like to show you some close-ups of my antique journal from last year, from May. We went to Europe last year, too, and I love having uh, lots of envelopes in my book to keep tickets um, and uh, mementos from the trip and all those little bits and details that you have to hang on to so you remember your journey. I'll show you just a few pages from that journal. Um, it's one of my favorites. Um, all of these are uh, archival papers, and uh, they're watercolor papers and mixed media pages. And then I also um, just put some nice uh, sketch paper in. And I took pictures on our trip, of course, and then printed them out. And I used some of the old uh, photo album um, covers in the inside to put photos in from our, from our journey. So that kind of gives you an idea of some of the things that I did. Um, one of my favorite pieces is uh, the pressed flowers from my little posy that I got, my Lily of the Valley posy. We were there on May 1st. So one of my favorite journals. And now I'll show you some some of my travel journal from this year. It's not finished yet, but I'll show you some of the pages. 
And I've got a lot more work to do. It's the page with the Trevi Fountain. Just flip through it a little bit so you can kind of get an idea. I love the uh, papers that I bought in Florence <clears throat> and use those through the journal to cover up some of the writing to create a little bit of privacy. And as you can see, there's a lot of spaces left for photos. I'll be filling that in and you'll be able to see some of those on my blog. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. So this is the photo that I printed that I took on, I shot this on our journey. <clears throat> this was at the Trevi Quarter at the Trevi Fountain. And I saved a spot for it in my journal. A uh, photo of Trevi will go here so that I remember where to put it. And I'm going to cut it out and glue it on using gel medium. And then I'll embellish it in some way. Oh. Perfect. So, on our travels, I glued this onto the page. Actually, it was a sticky tape. It's a crochet, it's a piece of crocheted work that has sticky uh, tape to the back so that you can use it for different scrapbooking purposes. And I loved the crochet look of it. And so I used my awl to punch holes in it so that I could stitch this on to make sure that it stays intact. Because years from now, all this sticky stuff that people have been using will just, it'll, it will just disintegrate. The glue will just give way and it's not, a lot of them are not archival. Some of them are, but not all of them. So I'm holding this up to the light so I can actually see where I've stitched. So, if you don't have time or the inclination to create something by hand, handmade like this, then all you have to do is get a, get a sketchbook and create your own travel journal in the sketchbook. And I journal write every single day, and I write all the little mundane things that happen to us on our trip, like that time in Florence when we found the absolute perfect little pizza joint. Uh, near the Duomo that my cousin told me about that had gluten-free pizza and we settled in to watch the uh, people and drink our wine and wait for our pizza and suddenly the heavens opened up, rain poured down and there were at least a dozen tourists just crowding and surrounding us and the smell of petrichor, the scent of rain was absolutely intoxicating and those are the moments that you want to capture in your travel journal whether you create one by hand or just get a sketchbook because those are the moments of life and art is life so from my heart to yours ciao for now